Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot, and this is going to be the general daily collective message for July the 7th. Keep in mind, timing and energy is still fluid. This reading could play out today. Over the next several days, this reading may or may not be for you. This reading is also not sign specific, guys, but I will call out any zodiac signs throughout the reading that I do feel need mentioning. We're going to talk about the astrology, although I did get into it a little bit within uh, the weekly forecast for the Twin Flame Collective. I did want to jump on and uh, channel the daily energies. And so we got some moon energies working with the sextile between uh, the sun and the north node. And so I feel the energy is very karmic coming through when it comes to learning lessons from the past once and for all pushing us onto our karmic uh, north node, onto our karmic pathway this life. And so I think we're all kind of digging deep when it comes to any relationship issues stemming around our parents, especially a father figure, and um, any painful ties when it comes to our childhood. And so I do feel the energy is opening up a gateway portal when it comes to a wonderful opportunity to do some deep soul work and to do it at our own pace. And so when we use our own will instead of um, brute force or external um, circumstances from the universe that kind of force us into this truth, it makes these energies a little bit easier to work with. But with the North Node in the eighth house, I think the energy is gonna be very uh, transformational. We do have the eighth house in Taurus and the North Node both in Taurus. And so I do feel like a breakdown of foundations a breakdown of false beliefs is taking place in order for many within the collective to step into their life purpose and their soul's mission this life. And so a lot of karma, a lot of karma playing out in all areas of your life when it comes to any negative life issues that we've been asked to kind of explore to clear um, this very karmic energy. So the energy is karmic without a doubt. Uh, whenever the North Node uh, comes around uh, with an aspect, it is very karmic. And so I think we're being asked to look at where we have uh, valued ourselves. Have you based your value on what it is that you own and what it is that you earn? Because what you own and what you earn uh, should never ever uh, revolve around your sense of self-worth or your sense of value. And so any uh, money hungry, possessive energies are likely going to get blasted out of the water um, when it comes to this very materialistic uh, karmic energy being transformed. And so uh, we're all being asked to learn the true meaning of power, which really has absolutely nothing to do with what we own or how much money we earn uh, for a living. And so perhaps in a past lifetime, uh, you had a lot of money or, you know, you, you accumulated a lot of wealth or became attached to uh, possessions. And so this lifetime, you've likely found yourself using your sensuality or money to manipulate and control others. And so you're likely going to encounter a little bit of friction in the energies if that is the case, because the North Node in the eighth house is bringing forward all kinds of karmic projections. And it's trying to show us the people that we keep attracting into our lives who likely we've been involved in within past lifetimes in order to face these challenges this life uh, to break free. And the energy is likely to evoke some very strong uh, emotions, strong, passionate hate, strong, passionate love. And I feel the energy can be very challenging if you've not got a clue as to what is going on. And so a lot of shadow energy coming up, especially uh, relating to the second house, because that's where the south node is kind of falling in. And that's our overdeveloped qualities and this deep need to possess and uh, to stay stuck in these old ideas that keep preventing growth, expansion and progress. And so... Um, get ready to deal with issues surrounding power, money, and sex, and any complexities uh, regarding all of those issues. And so, if you have shared issue or shared uh, resources with somebody, get ready for some exposure where somebody's maybe been hiding some money, stashing some money. Um, and I feel uh, get ready to question everything when it comes to this t intense transformational experience taking place in order for this spiritual regeneration. So it is kind of like the Phoenix rising from the ashes and we're kind of being asked to face our fears, our phobias when it comes to any um, upheavals or crisis um, events 
um, especially when it comes to uh, past lifetimes where maybe this has led to like a death or a very painful ending. And so a lot of deep emotions when it comes to understanding yourself, understanding others, uh, how you have used others or misused your powers. And, and I feel um, a catalyzing energy, a catalytic um, traumatic experience is likely for many in the energy, especially when it comes to past abuses. And so um, we're kind of being asked to uh, master the material world, uh, master uh, possessions, and uh, to level up a little bit. And so get ready for a very... Um, weird exchange in the energy is kind of what's coming through. I feel um, the closing out of complex marriages, karmic marriages, um, karmic interactions. And, and I feel in order for us to figure out what our true value system is. And so freeing energy, I feel karmic freedom is kind of what's coming through, but we have to be willing to open up to see um, others and the world around us from a higher perspective. And so Money isn't everything. I think we're all being asked to explore true intimacy before choosing a life partner. And so we can't keep choosing these relationships based on money or these deeply entrenched um, value systems that just aren't working. And if you're in a relationship just because the money's good, but you're not emotionally content, well, I think uh, get ready for a situation to be created in order for chaos uh, to kind of shake you out of that comfort zone, which likely could lead to a uh, material loss or a plunging energy of, you know, complete and total financial ruin in order to catalyze you uh, towards this uh, transformational process. And so having said that, I think get ready to create beneficial exchanges uh, within all of your relationships moving forward. We're not here to keep playing into these power struggle dynamics. We're here to go into the depths of what true intimacy means. And if you know yourself well, it's going to be easier to go deep and to let go of things no longer serving you because we did come here to experience soul love and soul relationships and so with the moon opposing venus this is adding to the complexities the moon is in sagittarius venus is in gemini and this aspect is opposing at 22 degrees 33 so 22 a very powerful master number and 33 i've always linked to the sisterhood of the rose and so this this can be mostly positive but it does have its negative connotations as well and so you think of the moon it governs everything according to our emotions our day-to-day -day lives our ability to reason uh, our relationship with food even and our relationships with our family and particularly our mothers and so with venus governing our relationships in modern times so many people uh, signify romantic relationships and just link it to sex and money. And in truth, love is to be created in all forms unconditionally. And so I feel um, we want to try to avoid opposition at any cost, although that's not going to be easy to do in the energies today. Uh, we're kind of being asked to embrace this polarity to give way to find a state of balance. And so oppositions always 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 represent the polarities of the two energies and so um this is really going to bring a lot of conflicting energies to the forefront and with the moon sextile saturn this is all about stability and security linked to our personal family and home life and so get ready to emotionally mature to practice some self-discipline and it really is the perfect time to handle all of these difficult and serious issues once and for all where have you lacked responsibility where have you lacked uh, dependability patience carefulness respectfulness within relationships because respect for tradition and our ancestors is coming up and you might be felt uh, or guided and led to maybe visit um, some ancestors at the cemetery. And I did just that um, earlier today with my children. And so um, it is a bit respect for sure. And with the moon, uh, squaring it up with Neptune uh, later today, uh, Neptune always brings confusion, especially surrounding emotional insecurity with the moon. And so you might find yourself having some very strange feelings or experiences that might leave you questioning your very reality. And so 
we're not really perceiving things in its truth and you, you don't want to self delude yourself because then you're likely going to be easily deceived by friends um, that really aren't your friends by some frenemies and so it's best not to react in the first place and it really is a good <laughs> a good practice to avoid making important decisions especially based off first impressions so you know there's always depth to people and that first impression is great but we don't just want to go jumping into things just because of that first impression and so it's going to be really easy to get hurt now because of the extreme emotional sensitivity taking place with all of these energies kind of working together which also makes many of us um, more vulnerable to deception or being taken advantage advantage of because of the confusion um in the energies and so when we're in a confused state, deceitful people can easily recognize that and uh, intentionally take advantage. And so w you might experience suffering if you're falling into that uh, trap of self-delusion. And so I think we're kind of all being asked to not to hide our sensitive, uh, vulnerable side. We do have to be willing to openly share our vulnerability with others. So maybe, uh, you know, you need to reach out if you're suffering reach out to somebody trustworthy and and seek that guidance or maybe you're going to be the one that is helping somebody in need in the energies today but let's see what needs to come through with the cards guys we're going to start off with the spiritual journey oracle deck we're going to cut the deck we're going to see what we got oh my god your higher self is guiding you towards a reconciliation with a loved one so there is a reconciliation on the horizon but you're going to have to dismiss that lower ego. You're going to have to trust in the guidance from your higher self and to follow this healing light towards uh, this reconciliation. Yeah, get ready to receive a message. There is going to be a reconciliation of some sort around the corner. So let's see uh, what needs to come through with the Spiritual Journey Oracle messages today. And we're going to jump in with the past life lessons deck after this because of the karmic past life nature of the sun and the north node aspect so the first energy out guys we got life purpose so that's definitely aligned with the north node energy so what are you being prompted to change think about that what are you being prompted to change because somebody here is stuck in the matrix in a false foundation a false sense of security and status that they've created for themselves rooted in some old patterns and old mindset and I think a foundation is about to crumble to the ground and somebody's been afraid of this happening. So I think uh, somebody's really needing to watch their thoughts because I feel somebody's manifesting in a negative thought vibration and uh, the exact thing you're afraid of is likely going to manifest. And so whatever tower is coming in, it's feeling like a tower, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um... This false foundation has to break apart because it's time for us all to embrace this deep existence. We're not here to just play into these man-made prescriptions for our life, the status quo, and uh, something is being completely destroyed. And I think the energy is very uncomfortable. But how are we ever to evolve if we don't go into this deep, uh, dark night of the soul evaluation and deconstruct everything that's not working when it comes to these old habits, these old patterns? So I feel it's decision time, it's evaluation time, and somebody here is facing their fear, breaking free from illusions of the mind, tapping into some heightened awareness that, hey, maybe it's time to journey towards a brand new life, to journey towards self-development. So yeah, I think get ready for some upheaval. This upheaval is needed in order to evaluate your life path, your life purpose, your life's work, Something is shifting because something definitely more fulfilling is waiting. And uh, somebody is really needing to recognize where they have neglected themselves, where they have allowed others to influence them negatively, and where they need to tap into their intuitive senses in order to take charge of their own destiny. Something drastic is shifting below the surface. This is fated destined change as part of somebody's evolution. And so... There is a situation ship about to shift in a very powerful way. And uh, this is divinely guided change. So get ready for a breakthrough. A major breakthrough when it comes to your spiritual path, your karmic north node path, your greater purpose, this life. 
<clears throat> and get ready for somebody to speak up because my throat is super irritated at the moment. But something is being manifested. I do feel a reconciliation after somebody breaks free um, from a status quo foundation. And they have been guided from spirit to break free. And I feel if you've been ignoring the signs, if you've not been listening to your guides and your angels that have been guiding you towards fulfillment, you're likely going to experience a tower moment in order to get you to work on yourself, to step into growth and expansion. And there is a lot of heightened awareness. So I think get ready because there's a new life around the corner and your life is about to look drastically different than it does now. So let's see what this past life lesson is all about. Abandonment, humility. Yeah, there's definitely the breakdown of something. And uh, this is definitely to get somebody to release their very arrogant attitude and to accept that they created this mess in the first place. And I feel somebody is likely getting abandoned. And so that's a huge challenge, I think, to overcome feelings of aloneness and unwantedness and abandonment. And so nobody is responsible for making you feel whole. And I think somebody's gone fishing and they've caught themselves a big one. It's definitely harvest time. <laughs> It's harvest time, and I think a big lesson in humility is to understand that we are all created equal in God's eyes. Nobody is above you. Nobody is below you. We may be on different paths, but we were all created equal, and so there's a lot of past life wounding coming up, being transcended in the energies when it comes to these negative past life experiences, and although all of these past lives have shaped us and these wounds have shaped us, they're not here to define us or limit limit us uh, this lifetime. So let's see. Somebody I feel is in a very tough situation, but they've created this false sense of security, a false foundation, and you can't stay somewhere uh, surrounded by all kinds of falseness because the universe is going to come in and it's going to upheave you out of that comfort zone in order for somebody to embrace healing their heart. So... We'll see what else the, the past life lessons have to say when it comes to these energies. We got that fisherman again. And I always I always hear my guides say, you caught yourself a big one. So, yeah, somebody went towards um, some lustful desires, some fleshy, lustful desires. And they're lacking something deep inside of them. Maybe even a prostitute. Huh? This is past life energy. So, somebody went towards a, a karmic temptress. Um, it was about the sex, and there's uh, a lot of secrets here. And uh, somebody is definitely lacking fulfillment. And this has negatively affected their self-worth. Could be dealing uh, with somebody that cast a spell on them that really has prevented them from stepping into their spiritual journey. And I feel there's a misunderstanding, and somebody I feel has been through the battle zone, has been through the war zone, um, really learning a lesson in self-worth. So possessions will never, ever give you that sense of self-worth. And, and I feel somebody here is coming into their galactic uh, starseed origins um, and their higher purpose. And so I also feel somebody that caught themselves a big one here when it comes to a reconciliation. And there is a warrior here that is breaking away from a spell that was cast over him or her and uh, they've lost themselves in, in this very um, lustful um, connection. And, you know, lust is instant gratification. That's kind of like the devil energy. And so somebody needs to find their self-worth when it comes to breaking free from some possessions. Possessions are not bringing happiness. And I feel it's kind of time for somebody to come forward with that truth and uh, to rewrite their story, to step into devotion of their journey. I feel a man that is getting ready to step into his service-based mission. There were vows taken uh, before incarnating when it comes to a higher connection here. And this humility needs to take place in order for somebody to step into this new loving experience. And there is without a doubt a lot of divine protection. But you have to decide to break yourself out of that state of fear. Somebody is in a deep state of fear. And has likely become a victim of crime or abuse um, and likely due to overindulgence, playing into a victim mentality. And so I feel this death energy coming through. It's time to say goodbye to somebody for sure. 
And moderation is going to be key. We cannot keep numbing. We cannot keep overindulging. We have to find our strength and our fortitude to take our power back. I'm being shown the five of pentacles. And so abandonment, victim mentality, death energy, because of this impaired energy. Somebody's been too impaired to see all of these limiting condition conditions around them. And uh, there's a lot of anger. Somebody is very angry because they are dealing with a very negative situation. It is not filled with love. It is filled with lust. And there's been a, a lack of reciprocity. And somebody is needing to overcome these challenging circumstances because they're dealing with somebody trying to create roadblocks from moving forward. And so there's going to be a big, big shift taking place. So let's see what the Illumination Oracle deck has to say. Yeah. By the next holiday, if you have a birthday coming up, I think get ready for some massive changes. It's time to embrace the change. And now I'm hearing the change is going to come, guys. So get ready to close out a major, major karmic cycle. Somebody here is uh, closing out a major karmic cycle because the, the desires in their heart are saying, I'm worth more than this. And I think somebody's been afraid to go towards the light, hiding the truth, wearing a mask, Playing into pride and ego, and it's like a regular shit show upstairs, guys. And and I feel um, this resistance is persisting, drastically bringing in a huge ego death, I feel. Um, somebody's mask is falling off. And I do think, yes, get ready to receive a message. I think somebody's hoped and wished for somebody to wake up. And I think somebody is going through an awakening, and they're getting a major wake-up call. For sure, and they're getting ready to move. And I feel if somebody's been withholding communication, they've been dreaming about you, they've been hoping and praying that you will maybe receive them because you, without a doubt, left quite an impression. And there's that soulmate connection and that pas passionate romance. So you can't ignore the calling of the heart. And so I feel somebody's been hiding the truth that they've been going through um, an abusive situation. I feel a very abusive situation uh, with a karmic energy. It doesn't have to be a woman, but I'm feeling like a, a lustful, feminine, temptress energy. Somebody dealing with somebody very jealous, very possessive. Um, a lot of pride and ego here. A lot of power struggles, a lot of battles. And somebody's not been willing to reach out for that help, reach, reach for the light. When it comes to a passionate soulmate connection from the past that, that I feel they've never been able to release you, left quite an impression. Footprints in the sand, footprints on the heart, and they've been dreaming about you. And let me tell you, oh boy, does that universe have a plan. And somebody's about to get blasted out of their comfort zone. Because this unhealthy relationship, these addictive patterns, are going to be breaking down in the energies. Because it's kind of time for this release to go towards love. And to go towards um, healing your heart with somebody that I feel is your life partner. So... <laughs> There's a shit storm broom below the surface and I'm looking outside my window right now and the wind is picking up and the clouds are getting dark and we're getting ready for a storm. And you know what storms do? They come to clear the air. There's going to be a rejection in order for somebody to find their determination to come in and seek forgiveness to somebody that I feel they've hurt in the past. Maybe they didn't return love to this person in the past and somebody's been very patiently waiting for somebody uh, to maybe put the bottle down to give up some addictions and to fix what's broken. I think this has been a long time coming and I think somebody's finally finding their strength to seize a new opportunity. So let's jump in with the tarot guys and uh, see what else needs to come through. There's the truth guys. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Somebody's in a foundation. It's dead. Keep water in that dead tree and it ain't going to get you nowhere. So somebody needs to pack up and move. Without a doubt, the seven of coins in reverse is, hey, I spent a lot of time watering this dead tree. And if it's dead, it's dead. It ain't coming back to life. There's no loyalty here. There's no balance here. And somebody's got to come to terms with this truth is kind of what I'm feeling. So definitely. And then we get an empress. What are you doing water in a dead tree when you got the mother of all mother, the queen of all queens, waiting for you to give birth to this brand new reality? So we got a divine feminine here, an empress that I feel is done. I'm moving on. 
I know what I deserve. I deserve commitment. I deserve somebody that is going to be loyal, faithful, committed. And if you ain't going to give that to me, well, see you later. So we got a Taurus, uh, Taurus Libra energy. And I feel uh, she ain't going to settle for anything less than the best. She knows what she's worth. She knows her value. She's gone through a lot of pain to get to this status. This is usually an older woman, not a young woman. This is somebody that's lived her life, has, you know, learned a lot of hard, painful lessons. And time's up. I feel somebody's about to give birth to their dreams. Is kind of what I feel as well. So let's see. What needs to come through with the tarot today? We're going to do a nine card spread. We're going to clarify as need be. And then we're going to close off with some messages from spirit. So, oh my God. Divine masculine. Aries energy. Two of coins. So, we got a masculine that's going through a major realignment. Because he's in a false foundation. Going through some expansion. And something about that Capricorn full moon. We got uh, the Jupiter energy and Capricorn. We got Aries, more Aries, and uh, Venus energy. And so there's a connection crumbling for sure, a false connection crumbling. And somebody's not been wanting to release this, but somebody's taken charge going through some healing. Oh my God. That's my timing card. <laughs> so uh, definitely that Capricorn full moon. Get ready for somebody to encage themselves from a very uh, manipulative situation. So somebody's been healing, healing after a very painful revelation. <laughs> and uh, and I feel they're, they're going through an ego death without a doubt. Wow. Wow. Disillusionment. Somebody's been under the veil of illusion for sure. Maybe dealing with the Pisces. There were secrets here. There's illusions here. There's fear here. There's a need to break free from something very toxic and the doorway's open. All you got to do is, is walk out of that cage. Somebody's been caged in a very toxic situation. Got some cat fights going on behind the scenes. So you might be in for a fight around the corner in the energies. But whatever truth is being exposed, it's going to break somebody free from this illusion. I feel um, by that uh, full moon in Capricorn. So... Somebody's not been speaking. Somebody's not been honest. It's created all kinds of confusion, all kinds of delusion, all kinds of power struggles. And I feel there is a masculine here going through an awakening, going through a very humiliating ending, moving for sure, playing into all kinds of conflicts, all kinds of battles, and has not been telling anybody about the struggle that they've been going through. They've been trying to heal from something very toxic and I feel yeah they're trying to manifest healing from a missed opportunity there's that Venus moon energy the temperance and so oh somebody's been hiding how much they've been hurting on their heart when it comes to a missed opportunity somebody here is grieving somebody here is is trying to figure out how to communicate there's they're not willing to communicate there's definitely going to be a realignment at that Capricorn full moon. There is an ending, an ending of a false contract because the doorway is opening for this healing journey to begin. And so I feel there's been a recent exposure of some truth, which really has uh, cracked somebody's heart wide open and it hurts. Going through um, some resting, some healing, uh, understanding a very toxic situation. <coughs> <clears throat> there's that like phlegm like building up in my throat and so there's not been a lot of talking there is a need to talk I feel a masculine here healing um, some inner feminine wounds a mother wound perhaps could be dealing with a Leo or Pisces Aquarius Capricorn Libra Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, um, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini. Um, somebody here is shedding the old. Somebody here is coming into this knowledge that they have all of the tools that they need. Uh, but they're going to have to work through fear about coming forward and bringing healing into a situation. And so I feel somebody sitting in a whole lot of truth could be a cancer. It doesn't have to be when it comes to an unrequited love situation for sure. And there's that freaking tower. 
There's a tower coming, all right. There's a breakdown of a false foundation here. So let's take a look at this emperor because I feel this is the person that's going through some self-worth issues, getting ready to take charge of a situation. Definitely gaining a new perspective about a new beginning. Yeah, there's a heart chakra activation. Oh my God. <laughs> so more Pisces energy, more Aries energy. Somebody's feeling foolish. They had their heart chakra blocked and I feel a masculine going through an emotional breakdown because they're breaking free from an illusion. They've been playing the martyr. They've been playing the victim. You know, I feel a masculine that's been in a very abusive, toxic situation with somebody that really has broken down their self-worth, treated them as a possession and a masculine taking charge of a situation because he wants big, big love. He wants that holy grail love. And he wants passion in his life. And I don't think there's any passion here. I don't know what kind of person this emperor is dealing with. I see a lot of Pisces here in Capricorn. So I'm not sure. But I feel uh, somebody's been afraid to be alone. Somebody's been afraid to give up their independence. Um, definitely a breakdown of an illusion. An awakening of some sort. A sudden shake up. That's Uranus energy. Uranus comes in to shake things up. And there is going to be the, the slate being wiped clean in order for this realignment. So let's take a look at this Four of Wands reverse because there's no harmony wherever this masculine is at. There's no unity. We get the Knight of Wands reversed, uh, the Palace of Coins, uh, the Eight of Coins, and the Star reversed, Dark Knight of the Soul energy, hopeless. There's no hope here. There's no healing here. There's no love here. I don't see any freaking cups in this reading, except for the Seven of Cups, which is all about confusion and options, a lot of options. And so I feel a masculine here. All they've been focused on is money, 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 work, work, work. Um, definitely not passionate in this connection anymore. There's no healing. It's hopeless. There's no love. There's no harmony. And this is definitely not somebody's wish fulfillment. Like I said, I think they got into this situation all, all for the money, money, money. And it's a false sense of security. And it is breaking down because it's kind of time to release a long-standing burden. This is a conscious release. Somebody is hitting rock bottom because they're dealing with somebody that's really not invested. This was, wow, what a bad investment. Oh, my God. They're about to lose it all. And uh, a withdrawal and uh, blocking. I'm done. I'm blocking this. And, and I'm going after what it is that I really deserve. And so... Yeah, withdrawing, very poor investment. And if there has been blocked communication with somebody that you know has been in a toxic situation, I feel uh, they're trying to manifest a reunion of some sort. So let's take a look at this devil and this five of swords. Like this is very toxic, very manipulative. Somebody's been making somebody feel trapped in a situation. And I feel there's been a recent life force activation um, and somebody definitely has been tapped into their heart trying to hold the faith when it comes to breaking free from something toxic. I feel um, divinely got to change the Hierophant, more Taurus energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And they know it's time to leave this unrequited love situation behind. I don't think they're emotionally invested anymore if they even, if they even were in the first place. And so uh, divinely got to change. Um, the universe is in control for sure. And there's been a recent Kundalini activation in order for some uh, rebalancing to take place. Very karmic in nature for sure. So uh, let's take a look at this uh, confusion because somebody's been under the veil of the uh, the veil of illusion, and there's going to be a fight. Get ready for a fight. Yeah, because somebody's been uh, resisting walking away, trapped in a situation for sure. Um, eight of cups reversed, eight of swords. Get ready for your bubble to get burst because uh, somebody's not happy. You can't keep holding on, pretending to be happy and not walk away. Um, I also feel somebody's been trapped up in their mind space when it comes to returning to somebody that they walked away from from the past. Um, that maybe uh, they were confused about and they went towards a very conflicting uh, situation and they've been under the veil of illusion um, dealing with somebody that doesn't know their worth, doesn't know their value, pretending to be happy. They're really not happy and I feel somebody's been trapped in this illusion in their mind going through a period of self-expansion, more Pisces energy, Jupiter energy. Saturn, get ready to learn a strict lesson because uh, the divine stepping in is saying, hey, it's time to balance these skills. There was something very unjust taking place here. Libra energy. 
and it's kind of time to pay the piper is what I see. So uh, let's see what this truth is all about. And then we're going to get a few last messages from Spirit Guys. King of Coins. The Sun. Three of Wands. Somebody is seeing it's time to invest in, in a new foundation and to take those guided action steps forward. There are happier times around the corner. Leo energy, Aries energy, Earth. And to, you know, balance out a situation. Somebody's not getting what it is that they deserve. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Do you want to be rich and be miserable or do you want to have love in your life and manifest in that higher vibration? And so somebody's ships are about to sail away when it comes to this reconciliation. If they don't take grounded action because you can't keep playing in uh, to this unrequited love situation. I feel... Um, Somebody speaks words of love, but they really aren't in this. They're guarded. And so a masculine getting ready to take grounded action, going through a massive ego death is kind of what I'm feeling. Getting ready uh, to speak up after maybe a period of not speaking for maybe up to eight months, eight months to five years. But this Capricorn full moon, there's going to be a conscious release of a very toxic, codependent, uh, abusive situation. And somebody's been hiding the truth. Regardless how this turns out, I think the situation is going to lead somebody towards love. Towards love that will be returned and towards a higher level of commitment. Because this is about life purpose. This is about stepping into a commitment of self. Um, a commitment with somebody else as well where there is a lot of love that I think has been hidden below the surface. So let's see what other messages uh, Spirit has when it comes to the, these uh, energies today. You're going to want to control your anger. You're going to want to control your anger. And I feel somebody is getting ready to reach out because they deeply miss you. They're definitely getting honest with themselves. Uh, coming to terms with the fact that this relationship was never meant to last in the first place that they went towards. And they're getting honest, rigorously honest about what's going on. And there is without a, without a doubt a divine plan at work. The universe has a plan. And somebody is divinely protected as they learn a valuable lesson. Yes, they're learning a very painful, valuable lesson. And they're learning when to walk away. To find their bravery and their strength to reach out to somebody I feel that they want to fix something with. Uh, that, they didn't, that they didn't go towards in the past. And uh, getting ready to speak up and be heard. I do feel a masculine here that has been victimized. Abused in a situation. Due to some old patterns, um, maybe some past life abuses and what goes around comes around. But I feel somebody is choosing to take their power back after a long period of struggling. And I think whoever this person is going towards, they're going to need your compassion and understanding. Because they've been dealing with a very deceptive situation. And all you need to do is uh, know that everything is working out and release the need to know an outcome. Because there's destined a change coming. Destined change coming. That's what I got, guys. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a twin soul reading with me, I do encourage you to check out that description box below, guys. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.